Terps, hello from inside quarantine. I'm in the middle of Northern Italy right now and I've been doing this distance learning thing for a few weeks. My students have been reading the book Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro and I've been making videos for that class. Then, as the whole world joined us in this quarantine, I figured, why not read this book with as much of the world as I can? So here we are. If you ever wondered if you'd like literature class now more as an adult or you're a student yourself who likes to read and doesn't have much going on right now, let's read a book together. Let's read Never Let Me Go. If you've already read it, good. I recommend reading it again. It holds up to multiple readings. I plan to release a new video every couple days, starting with a video on chapters 1 through 3 on April 1st. From there, we will read chapters 4 through 6, and so on. Hopefully people start reading along and start discussing it with me in the comments, in which case I will do some comment response videos in the style of the PBS Idea channel. Link! So try to find a copy of the book for yourself somehow. You can support one of the best bookshops in the world and order it from Powell's Books in Portland, or see if your local bookshop is doing any pickup orders out of the back, or get a copy on an e-reader like me. It doesn't matter, we won't be referencing page numbers, so however you can get the book, get it. But before you start reading, I want to give you a couple things to think about. This book takes place in what appears to be a fancy boarding school. It has a first-person narrator. It seems like it's going to be a YA novel. I'm going to talk about genre and expectation, so as you read, think about what you would expect from a novel with adolescent protagonists in a boarding school setting. Love triangles, jocks, these kinds of things. The second thing I want to call attention to is the first-person narration. When an author chooses to write in a first-person narration, they do it with intention. Writing in a third-person omniscient is so much easier. You can fill in plot gaps, get into people's heads, describe scenes from the outside. With a first-person narration, you are limited to only that character's head. You can only know what that character knows. The voice of that character needs to be maintained throughout. It's hard to write a whole novel like this. So when an author does it, that author does it with intention. The first person narrator has to add something to the novel. So start to ask yourself, what does Kathy H, our narrator, actually add to this story? This is something I couldn't quite figure out until my second reading of it. The first time I read it, I'll admit, I found her pretty dull. The second time I read it, and every time since, I am absolutely fascinated by her. So as you're reading, just keep asking yourself, why has Ishiguro chosen to tell this story through her eyes? What value is she adding to this novel? And the third thing I want to address before you start reading is that it's okay to not know what's going on at first. This book asks you to joyfully inhabit a world in which you do not understand the rules. You will not know what it means to be a carer for a long time. You will not understand why they are all in this quirky school to begin with, or why they care so much about their art. Be okay with that. Enjoy that ride. You know? When I say it out loud like that, it kind of feels like there might be a deeper meaning there. The book asks you to enjoy being in a world that you don't fully understand. It's kind of like life generally. I don't get the rules of this place either. How do I make friends? How am I supposed to feel about the Kardashians? Can I still listen to Michael Jackson's music? Are ethics real or a social construct? When will we be able to go to restaurants again? I don't know. I don't know the rules of this world either, so enjoy the fictional one that Ishiguro has created for us. So get yourself a copy of the book, read the first three chapters, and subscribe so we can read it together. The first video will be out April 1st. Thanks for watching.